Hi, I'm Tasman Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make an instant eye bag firming cream. Now let me show you how easy it is to put together. Okay, so to get started with my eye bag cream today, I have my water face here and to this I'm gonna be adding a little bit of humectant. Now we do sometimes get dry under eyes, so adding a nice suitable humectant is gonna give it some moisture and it's also gonna protect it from um, trans epidermal water loss. This is how we're gonna help firm and really plump up our under eyes a bit better. Now I'm gonna be making a polymeric emulsion today. Now for those of you who don't know what that is, is we are gonna be using a polymeric emulsifier, which is what I've got here. So this is Cepi Plus S by Cepic. Now this is a Realogy modifier and an emulsifier all in one. So you don't have to, it's called processable, so you don't have to heat. So we're using minimal ingredients. Um, and also not using heat either, which is going to be even easier. Now to this, I'm gonna be adding some Caprylic Capric triglycerides. This is a medium skin fill and medium spreading triglyceride. I'm gonna be adding just a small input of a plant oil here. I'm just using some grapeseed just to add a bit of emollients to my eye bag cream. You don't want anything too heavy or too greasy or oily, others that will just sit under your under eyes, which is not very ideal. And my last one here, I'm gonna go with the Cocoa Design L. Now, this is a nice light feeling uh, ester. It's also long spreading as well. So we wanna have a good balance of long, medium, and short spreading, and also long, medium, and heavy uh, skin feel. Now I am gonna give that a bit of a stir. So combine this first before adding it to my water phase. I want to make sure that the emulsifier and li the lipids are nice and homogenous before adding it to the water phase. Okay, and once that's nice and homogenous, we're just going to add that to our water phase. Now I love polymeric emulsions. They always tend to be nice and light and they're super, super easy and quick to put together. This is what I love about them. They're fast, efficient, and they're also nice and light. As I said earlier, you don't wanna have anything too heavy on under your under eyes. It's not gonna be very ideal. Now, it looks like I've just put some egg whites in, in a bowl here, so watch the magic happen. Does go a little bit lumpy, looks kind of separated, but when you keep mixing, it turns into a nice, beautiful emulsion. And that's how super quick and easy it was. So we've got a nice glossy, homogenous emulsion there. Okay, now to my next phase, I'm gonna be going and adding in some niacinamide. This is gonna help brighten and lighten the under eyes. So if you've got dark under eyes, this is gonna help make you look a little bit lighter, a little bit more brighter, a bit more refreshed. I'm gonna be adding a small input of a sparkly uh, highlighted pigment here. This is gonna help highlight the under eyes as well. As I said before, it's gonna make us look a little bit, a little bit more lively, especially if you've had a lack of sleep, you know, due to, you know, children like I do most nights or something else. Um, this will help brighten, make you look a bit more fresh. Now, my star ingredient here, this is the Optimage SF Gel. Now, this is a rapid wrinkle filler. So it's got some pretty good efficacy here. So it's been clinically tested within 30 minutes. Um, you can already see differences of instant smoothing. So it's got a really nice soft and non-silicon uh, feel to it. And I'm just gonna bring up some efficacy data here of the rapid uh, wrinkle and fine line filling efficacy. So you can see here, there is a consumer study and you can see T0, so that means it was when it was first applied. Um, so it, the test was done on 12 females, double blinded test, and the drying time was 20 minutes. And just after 30 minutes, it's already started to smooth and firm those under eyes. And within four hours, it's even better. So the results are really, really good and rapid. And you can also see some efficacy testing here with the Optimage uh, gel versus a placebo. And then we've also got some more consumer fine line filling efficacy here. This was done on 10 subjects, nine females and one male. This was also a double blinded test and with 20 minutes drying time. So you can already see here just after three hours, there's a significant rapid wrinkle filling effect here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in there. And of course, I'm just gonna add my preservative and some tocopherol also. 
And I'm just going to give that a good mix. Okay, and lastly, we're just going to check and adjust our final pH. And we're just going to cover and leave that to sit until the next day, just to check for any signs of instability and to check the viscosity also. Okay, and here's what our eye bag cream is looking like the next day. As you can see, the viscosity is quite good. It's nice and stable. It's got, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's got a little bit of a highlighter shimmer to it, which is what we want. We don't want too much, but just enough that we're gonna look a little bit brighter and a little bit fresh after applying. So that feels really nice and soft on the skin, nice and emollient. It doesn't have too much uh, spreading, which is we don't want because we don't want it to migrate too much from under the eyes. It's also non-sticky and non-tacky also, and I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's added just a nice little bit of shimmer to it. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to put together a instant eye bag eye cream. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.